Sometimes you feel like singing, sometimes you don't. Today is one, one of those days where I don't feel like singing. I know, but it's the first like time. You madly. It's a you know great what? song. It's a great song. And sometimes, you know, you're telling me about your ex and that, and what you say. Mm. I think it's more, impos- more important to like someone yeah. than love them. Well, I think well, no, yeah, you've I, got I, to I, do like, both. Yeah, 100%. But, you know? but what happens is once you start loving someone, mm. then sometimes you, you still love, you always love that person, but you don't like them anymore. Well, I think if you love someone, you'll you'll always, in any long relationship, you're going to have moments of not liking each other. I mean, I was with him for 14 years, which was a very long time. And um, I had moments where I would just say, okay, you're not my favorite person right now, so just leave me alone for a little bit. But I still love you, but you're not my favorite person. So just give me a little bit, give me a little bit of space, and then I'll come back to you, you know? It doesn't have to be a breakup, and then you have a fight. No. No. Okay, and I was like, whoa, it's like Okay, okay, we could not never ever gonna be perfect with each other. You're not gonna have a fight, you're gonna have more fights than anything. But and no couple is fight, perfect. If we didn't have a fight, there's no peace. There's no passion. Correct. And it, I mean some people don't fight. I know relationships that are great that they don't fight and both the couple we'll both the, like the people are happy. Yeah. No, <laughs> both people are happy. It's what works for you. But 100%. I mean you are from Latin descent. It's the Latino Passion. I am Latin. I know. I, I threw an espresso cup once at Whoa. Shannon's head and I cracked the whole sliding door. I'm not, I'm, I'm not Latin. Okay, I do not throw a Latin. Listen, I didn't I hit might, him. I might have his brought up, but yeah, no. That, uh, woo. No, but that's, that's a great song. On Matthew and Just Ginger. It's fantastic. Like because it's something you don't take now. What's, you're talking about, yeah, you always like, you don't like them, but when in your relationship, like a year down the line, after you started saying no, I love you to each other, yes. did you ever turn on and say, I like you? Well, you see, that was the funny thing, because this song came out like pretty early on in mine and my ex's relationship, and he told me he loved me the second week, I told you just now, which I thought was completely nuts, but I used to say, I like you madly, until I actually knew that I loved him, and so that carried on. I would have these times that. where I would sometimes just look at him and say, I really I just like you madly. Just you, I yeah. Know, I know you love me. But I'm not, but, but, but do I'm you, like you like me? me? Yeah. But that doesn't only go in a romantic relationship. No. It's also in, in, you know, your friendships, in your, in your family but relationships. In relationship, you don't say that enough. I like you. I actually like you. I like you. I like, I you. like you madly. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a set a while ago and this girl came and asked me to what? dance. I was telling her, no, I can't. She I don't like, want to do it. Please, I'm like, she's done, please. I'm like, oh, my friends, I'm like, okay. So I like, can dance. She's like, please, just one song. I'm like, my friend was like, she took so much courage. To actually walk over, me. yes. So I went like down to her friend and like, we danced. And she's just, she was like, <laughs> so what did song. she do? Never, He's ever. blushing. <laughs> what did she, she do? Goes, she goes, um, very sexy. <laughs> So You're went, very sexy, so went, Zox. So I'm like, thank you, like looking at my phone at the time. I've got to go to the, <laughs> my next set at 31. She's like, out of the blue, she texts me, she's like, I like your face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? What the what? <laughs> so I have to go, I like your face. Oh no, but that's <laughs> nice, <laughs> Socks. That is so cruel that you're laughing at her. I'm laughing now. I like Did it. you I was, say thank you? I was, I was like, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, the, the, she didn't get the words. Obviously, English wasn't her first language. Oh, but maybe she but did like your face. I like your face. <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> I love it. I think uh, it's great. So, what are you up to tonight, Socks? You've got some I'm charity thing. I'm going earlier because we had Dan's and stuff on the show the other day, and he is doing incredible things at the moment. I mean, he's a great he, guy. He did the whole thing of paddling around uh, yes. our stand and dealing with his uh, cerebral palsy, CP, yes. like he likes to call it. So the people don't know, we call it CP. CP, baby. And he's been put in touch with a little kid called Chase Winshaw. And there's a charity fund for Chase Winshaw. He's a three-year-old boy. Yeah. And it says, Dan says, up to you and met Chase. I didn't know anyone else who suffered from CP. So Chase, the oh, first really? person who suffered with CP. And he says, he's trying to raise money and awareness and install something in Chase who's three years old and dealing with this disease. And he says, I'd like to impart some knowledge of how I dealt with it and how I try to sweep it under the carpet. Only now I've started to embrace it every day is a thing like this. Yeah. So uh, never mind about the raising the funds, they are, um, he's trying to be a, a mentor and raise Which awareness. Which is fantastic. Policy, but at the same time, they're trying to raise cash for whatever treatment that uh, Chase Winchell would need. Like, Dan's eyes light up when he speaks about this Shame. little three-year-old boy. He's an and amazing guy. Unbelievable, unbelievable guy. So tonight at 31 from 7 o'clock, 
to nine o'clock for the club opens to public. I do a huge event, like a pep rally with the auction. There's like Jordy Smith's uh, autograph awesome. surfboard, vouchers, uh, sporting goods. There's weekends away for two, valued to like five, ten thousand rand. Awesome. And they auction them to raise money for Chase. If you want to get involved, get to 31 tonight or get them to just follow Chase to, uh, what's it? It's Chase to Superhero. Chase to superheroes. Yeah, Chase. Is that is that on on Twitter, on Twitter or? and on Facebook? Chase. Chase. And then T O two superhero on Facebook and on Twitter it's Chase the number two superhero. Okay, I think we should tweet that for the listeners Definitely. just so that they've got it. But uh, yeah, and then what they're doing? They've got last year they had seventy runners running the nine and a half marathon and uh, getting sponsored five hundred rand off per kilometer and they raised a bit of money last year. This year already they've got 170 people signed up. Amazing. And anyone else, if you're running the miles and half marathon, there's 10,000 people running it. Yeah. Run it, if you're already running it, run it for a good cause. For Get a good sponsored. cause, I think that's if an amazing already, idea. So Definitely. Do it for Chase, a three year old boy suffering from cerebral palsy and uh, Dan Skins that's in his camp in the corner and uh, they're taking this head on and raising awareness for it. So tonight at 31, it's Guys, please support. I mean, if you're out there and you're not doing anything, or even if you are and you can change your plans, get down there. I think it's a great, great now, cause. Now, going back to the song and platform, just, just Ginger. Yes. I like the major. <laughs> and, and I think it will flow in perfectly to the song we're about to play next. Let's talk about your dating experiences. <laughs> ah. <laughs> your, your secret date that I didn't know about. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> well, it that I am running this bachelorette. It's, it's true, but this was an unofficial date, right? It wasn't organized by you. I went on two actual dates, socks. Okay. And Jordan will be very... <laughs> no, but I'm saying there were, there were dates that were, like, they were dates. They, you didn't organize them. They were, they were normal dates. And it was what I quite liked about writing about it afterwards was I could give honest advice because I wasn't talking about who the dates were with. You mentioned Paul and John the <laughs> That's not his name. Not either of their names. But it was it was a fantastic date. And what we did was I, we were going to go, I said to this guy before, um, you know, dinner's a really normal thing to do. And he said, okay, well, let's go shark, um, shark cage diving. I said, okay, cool. Let's do that. In Joburg, it's going to be a bit difficult. Well, that's, that's and then, <laughs> <There's a little laughs> shocks over there. And so we went bowling. And then I found out that there was no <laughs> alcohol served at this bowling alley, which I was very upset about because you always need a little bit of Dutch courage to you know just ease into things but it was so much fun I actually had an absolute jaw getting totally taken out of my comfort zone and you know me sucks I walk into walls counters everything else so you can imagine me bowling I fell flat on my butt and was bruised knees butts everything bruised but I was laughing and he's actually I found out used to belong to a a bowling league, which I killed myself laughing about because you, you would never expect it from this guy. But he was not competitive. He was very sweet about everything. And we just laughed at how bad I was, really. And then we played air hockey, and that was a big jaw. But we were talking earlier on, and we got competitive there. And just, by the way, first-time player, and we ended even so that everybody hears it out can there. Can yes. him on the line and ask you, him if up No, here? you can phone him personally, but no, we cannot get him on the line. Um, but you were saying earlier on about saying what you mean. Now, this guy says that he's been wanting to take me out for a really long time and that I'm clueless. And I said to him, dude, you need to be a little bit more direct, I think, because if I haven't picked up on the fact that you've been trying to ask me out for about, I don't know. But hold on a second. Maybe he didn't know. Maybe you think, maybe he thought, well, she has known and she hasn't shown me any indication to ask us. He is oblivious to the fact that you didn't know you were trying to ask him out, mm -hmm. which is all. What, no, what, what, no, what no, no, Soxie. Th what you said is guys say what they mean. Not once so what in I'm the long time say, has he ever said, Sue, would you like no, to go and do something? The big difference to guys say what they mean when you were together with someone, not when okay. you're trying to. Trying to woo someone. I just think no you should always wants, say what you mean. No guy just wants, say what no you guy mean. Wants rejection. Sure. So you're probably putting something out there that you didn't read, and he was he was like, "Well, shit, I'm putting it out there, and I'm not getting any feedback." She obviously doesn't want to go out with me. So that's where the miscommunication. Where it brings but we've had a flirt. That, that brings into my point of ages ago <laughs> that we complicate life. As human so beings, much. as human beings, Correct. we as human beings we complicate that. Agree. We always look at the negative. Yes, instead of the positive. Correct. We'll look at one negative and say, no, 
It can't happen because of this. But you know, I'm not like that. I love the positive. Although I must say, I am a scaredy cat when it comes to relationships. I agree with you. I am a scaredy cat. Scary life, it is, and that's why I love taking on challenges, and that's why I took on this challenge of the the dating thing. Glad you did. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, it's not what, nothing in life is safe. My girl, my girlfriends are a little bit nervous about you know your 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 next date that you have selected for me because you won't send me I can't do any stalking well, you, you I don't know. know when he's getting out of prison <laughs> <laughs> nice I'm looking forward to this one mm. <laughs> put it this way you won't have any female contact <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> fails <laughs> you scared so from I like you madly into one thing uh, guys are very very wary of and yes. um this is the song you make of it what you will. Here's Kanye West. I love this song. <laughs> she gets money. <laughs> 